Hello YouTube, my name is Sarah if you didn't know and today's situation is my Lululemon May haul. So uh, the big elephant in the room, I look and sound sick and I'm not sick, well I kind of am sick, my allergies are out of control. I have already taken three allergy, medi three allergy medicines, three allergy pills today and the symptoms are not subsiding so I was not like putting on makeup sounded like the most ridiculous thing to me because I keep having to blow my nose and rub my eyes and sneeze and so that just was not gonna work but I really wanted to film this video because I don't have a lot of free time these days <laughs> you gotta just take this this is as real and as raw and as natural as I can get with you guys so Please, I hope that my appearance doesn't scare you away during this haul. If it does, I'll see you next month. I'm sure I'll feel better by then. But uh, for those of you that can handle what I look like, stay tuned and let's hop into this haul for the month. So before I get into this video, I just want to make sure you guys know that I work for Lululemon, but I do not speak on behalf of Lululemon. Everything I'm saying in this video is my own opinion. They're not paying me to make this video. I bought everything with my own money, but because I work there, I do get a discount on the clothing. So me doing a haul like this seems pretty excessive. I mean, because it is, but it's not encouraging you to go out and spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Maybe it's just showing you something that you might want to check out. Maybe something you want to see if it's available secondhand or anything of that nature. But I really hope that you don't feel pressured to go shop at Lululemon because of the videos I make. But maybe you're just more excited about the items that you have, making new pairings, trying out a couple of new things, or like I said, trying out things secondhand because that is a great way to get Lululemon items as well. So just want to be transparent about that so you guys know. Otherwise, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start with is this sports bra that I got this month. This is the Free to Be Elevated in the color Teal Lagoon. And I specifically like this bra because it is a double D to E cup bra. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I have a larger chest. And for a long time, Lululemon was not the best with making inclusive sizing with their bras. But in the past few years, they've gotten way better. And I appreciate this one for being like a cool design on the back and just a simple like scoop neck sports bra. It's nice to have variety in like if you have to wear an encapsulation bra or if you can just wear like a compressive one like this. So this does have removable cup pads. I personally wear them most of the time without, but I also don't have a problem with them being in. So it's definitely personal preference how I'm feeling that day if I'll wear them or not. And this bra is made of Lux Stream. So that is the four-way stretch and sweat wicking fabric. It is a light support, so this is definitely not for like running, but depending on what chest size you have, if you got it compressive enough, you probably could get up to like a medium support. But for me, it's definitely more light support. So I like to wear this as an everyday bra, to work, to hang out, that type of stuff. So I really like how much coverage this bra has. It's a lot more coverage than something like the Energy Bra. But again, I like that it looks similar to that. So I think this is a great option if you've not checked it out and you do have a larger chest, I definitely recommend checking this guy out. And I do have it two other colors, so I've talked about it before, but yeah, I like this one a lot. The second bra I got this month is the Runtimes bra. This is in the marvelous smoked spruce color. This color like blew up in the past month and a bit, and then a lot of it went on sale. So that was really interesting to see a fast turnaround in this color, but there's still stuff like this is still available. There's still some tights available, I'm pretty sure. You can still find stuff in this color, but I think the color is absolutely gorgeous. I've made a sports bra video. If you'd like to hear me go more in depth about sports bras and check that out, but when I talked about encapsulation versus like a tubular or compressive bra, this is the difference. This is like a single panel bra, whereas this actually separates and supports your chest. So depending on the amount of coverage and support I need, I will switch between something like this and something like the Free to Be Elevated. So this to me is a great bra to wear under professional clothing because it doesn't have a lot of lining, you don't see all the straps. And it's a regular like shoulder strap bra, goes by your cup sizes. So it's meant to be a high support for a B to E cup and they go by actual band size. So I have a 34E in this one and it fits me great. 
It's awesome because it has the adjustable straps. You can take this off to make it a cross back bra in case you're wearing like something different that you don't want the straps to show. And it just has a lot of support, a lot of coverage, and a lot of airflow through the bra, which is great. So different support, different intentions, I find because like I said, that one was a low support, this is a high support. So you're definitely gonna get two different experiences out of these bras. This one is great for fitness. It's still sweat wicking, has lycra, four-way stretch, just a little bit different in the construction and the support levels. I like both of these bras a lot. The run times is definitely one of my favorite high support bras. I like it more than the in light bra, so do with that information what you will and check it out if you haven't. So moving on to the tops I got this month, I will start off with this Swiftly Tech long sleeve. So if you've watched my videos for a while, I haven't always liked the Swiftly Tech items, but ever since they came out with the race length, I have been enjoying it way more because my torso is super short, so the full length Swiftly's just bunch up way too much on me. But the fit of these is great, and I've definitely found that I really, really do enjoy working out in these because they have that anti-stink property. So I don't feel like I smell nearly as bad as I would if I was working out in like a cotton t-shirt or something like that. And this is going to be way more sweat wicking. It has a little bit of compression, I would say mainly in the arms. And it being like seamless on the body means that when you're moving, it's not like rubbing against and chafing on anything. So it's really comfortable to wear, to work out in, and I just think they're cute. And this color especially is gorgeous. This is the color Sunset. So if you missed out on the guava color, then this is a great alternative to that if you can still get your hands on it. I'm pretty sure it's still available, but it did go on sale this month. That's why I bought it. <laughs> I buy mainly only sale stuff. So I absolutely love this top. I got it in a size 8. I literally ranged between a 6 and 10 in the Swiftly Tex. It just depends on how much compression and how like tight I want the shirt to fit. So I find that 8 is probably what my true size is. 10 if I want it oversized, 6 if I want it a little bit tighter. So I do have like a mix of all three of those sizes and I find that they work out good for me depending on what I need at that time. If you like or shop at Lululemon at all. I'm sure that you've tried on a Swiftly Tech before, but if you haven't, I highly recommend just testing them out, just trying them out, seeing if you don't mind them, because at first I personally didn't like them, but now I find that they are a wonderful workout shirt, so. And the second shirt I got is the All It Takes Long Sleeve. This is just the black one. It's basically like a plain black long sleeve with a little bit of detailing on the side. It looks like ruffly on the side, which is kind of nice just to break up a basic black long sleeve, but I really couldn't pass this up once it went on sale because it's just a basic black long sleeve. Like, it's gonna look great with everything. It's made out of the Nulu fabric, and if you don't know about Nulu, I don't know where you've been, <laughs> but Nulu is Lululemon's buttery soft fabric. So this shirt is not really intended for high intensity working out. I'd probably wear it more every day. If you're doing yoga, you could probably like get away with wearing this, but I wouldn't wear this to be doing something that I'm going to be rubbing on the ground a lot or moving a lot because it might pill. The inside of the shirt is very like cooling. The outside is that brushed aligned fabric, but once you put it on or feel on the inside, it's a little bit more slick, which is kind of nice again for everyday wear that you stay kind of cool, you're not too hot. And it is a slim and tighter fit shirt. This is kind of different than a lot of the stuff I have from Lululemon, so I'm happy that this came out and that also went on sale because love a good sale item. <laughs> then I... I'm so embarrassed to admit that I caved and I got another perfectly oversized crew neck. These are my favorite sweaters. I know they're just basic sweaters, but Something about them is so perfect to me. If you want to see a whole detailed video, I did that so I can link it at the top for you guys to check out, but I went into detail about why I love the perfectly oversized sweater, and even though it's basic, like I said, I think it just matches so well with every outfit. The colors are so vibrant and they don't fade as you're washing them, and they're just a nice everyday sweater and again this color went on sale it's a good price for me water drop was a super popular color the past couple weeks so I was honestly surprised to see this go on sale and then I happened to get one returned to my store in my size so I had to get it and when it comes to sizing with the perfectly oversized cruise 
I wear from a 4 to a 10. Like, it really just depends how oversized or how tight you want it to be. Personal preference at that point, but do know that if you get your true size, it is going to be oversized. Like, I know how silly that sounds because of what the sweater is called, but sometimes people think they need to size up, and you really don't. To in my opinion but yeah like I said if you want a full detailed video on that make sure to check out that other video because I did that but basically the sweater is just made out of the cotton terry fabric so it's like a towel-y material it's not overly soft on the inside it's still as soft but not the softness where it's gonna break apart and like go everywhere and I like the simple detailing of it saying Lululemon instead of having a logo this one's a little bit hard to see but so I think it's super cute then this month I got two pairs of leggings, so the first one are the Wonder Terrain Crop 21 inseam in the smoked spruce color. Like I seriously love this color, so I have to get a pair of tights in them. These were sold out over and over and over and I could not get my hands on them until like a random restock in the middle of the night. And I'm not normally a Lululemon lurker like that. I'm like, if it's there when I look I'll buy it, but I'm not going to stay up or get up early or anything like that to look for an item. But I happened to be awake in the middle of the night, checked on this, it was available so I bought it. I got this in a size 6 and even though like cropped can be pretty short on some people but I'm pretty short so these are actually not too cropped on me so I have no issue with the 21 inseam but for some people it's too short so I get it but if you are a short person like me, I'm like 5'2", 21 inseam is pretty good, pretty passable if you can't get your hands on a full length pant that you want. So. I'm a huge fan of these. Wonder Trains are made of the Everlux material. Fastest drying, great for high intensity working out. They have a drawstring in the band, so a wonderful fitness legging. Like if you love the Aligns but you want something that's a little bit more durable, go for the Wonder Trains. You hear me say that all the time, but it's true and these are great, so. And then if you watched my last haul, you know that I absolutely loved these joggers. So got them in black. I'm a little bit nervous because this waistband looks quite smaller. Let me do... Okay, yeah, so there is a bit of a difference in size, even though they're both a six. So I'm actually going to try these on quickly in case I need to bring them to work to exchange them. <laughs> okay, so excuse my messy room, but these actually fit totally fine. But they're definitely not as baggy as the green ones. I still think they're really cute and they're really comfortable. And this actually is... Not that tight it's a little bit more high rise so it sits at a smaller part of my waist so yeah so the last item i got this month are these tights they are the align pants with pockets and they are 25 inseam in the inflorescent multi-color so it's like floral and a bunch of different colors when this print came out I loved it a lot of people were like it's so ugly i don't like it blah blah and so i was kind of like Oh yeah, it's ugly, haha. <laughs> but in my head, I was like, I will get this print if it kills me. And I did, I and, and I love it. And if you watched my buyer buy when the Aligns with Pockets came out, you know that I was a little bit skeptical on these. And I still am. But because these went on sale, I wanted to try them out, see if the pocket actually works. So I will definitely be following up with you on that, on if I think these pale faster than my other Aligns. Stay tuned for that. But... Again, aligned Nulu fabric is that buttery soft, super comfortable, super stretchy and relaxed pair of tights. So yeah, I don't really have much more to say about these. I love the print. I'm excited to try out the pocket. And yeah, I got these in a size four because they didn't have a six. I would have preferred a six in this specific print just in case it's a little bit see-through. But when I tried them on, it, it really wasn't that bad, so I was like, whatever, I'll just get it. But to be honest, I would have preferred a 6 in this print, so just so you know. Okay, so that is the end of my May haul. Like I said, I sound and look sick, and I hope that you guys can live through the fact that I look and sound like this, but I really wanted to film this video because I love doing these monthly hauls and I don't have too much time to film these days unfortunately so fitting it in when I can is really important. And yeah, on that note, let me know what your favorite item is that you bought this month or an item that you want me to check out or review because I would love to do either of those things for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.